I will talk about the background of our group topic. Recently, Dragonair and Kelantan in Malaysia have faced a natural disaster which is floods. This short video has shown us about flood happening in Dragonair and Kelantan as we can see how is flood terrible and bring many problems for the flood within. Flood refer to the phenomenon of water flow in river, lake and ocean that rise and exit the normal water level. The flood within will face many problems when the flood happening. Flood often tilted the safety area along river, lake side and even cause floating digester. Flood are casualty property damage and building collapse caused by excessive natural precipitation. As we can see, the hospital in these two stage also be flooded. In addition, flooding will stop commercial activity, interrupt the supply of water, electric and gas, pollute drinking water. Flood often happen toward the end of the year when the monsoon season bring on non-stop rain. As we can see it, recently happened flood in Kelantan and Terengganu. Kelantan and Terengganu record an increase in flood within with numbering slightly over 65,000. The water level of eight major rivers have surpassed the danger point. To Dr. My name is Tan Sin Hui, the number 279851. In this video, I will point out five reasons of heavily flooded. The first reason is heavy rainfall. Malaysia experiences heavy rainfall yearly, with the average record between 2000 until 2500 mm. This rain shower becomes even heavier during the monsoon seasons, which usually occur between April to September, southwest and October to March, northeast. The second reason is deforestation. It is known that forests can be served as a buffer to heavy rainfall. A tropical rainforest can intercept about 30% of rainfall in its canopy, with the remaining percentage being absorbed into the soil or taken by the tree roots. The data shows that Malaysia has the world's highest deforestation rate at 14.4% between 2000 to 2012. The loss in forest cover still contributes to the worsening fruits. The next reason is natural greens replaced with an urban jungle. Kuala Lumpur has been highly urbanized over the years. Almost every part of its surface area is covered with impermeable asphalt or concrete. Therefore, water is not absorbed by the soil below and remains on the surface. Also, as we continue to develop our city and its infrastructure, we will inevitably remove any green space that exists within Kuala Lumpur, as well as the ability of the land to absorb rainwater. The next reason is climate change. A warming climate has been identified as the prime success for increased rainfall in recent years, leading to longer and less predictable monsoon seasons, leading to more unexpected flash flood from heavier, longer lasting, and taller shearers. And the last reason is cold rains. Malaysians tend to throw rubbish wherever they want, including our steel and rivers. We in cold rains trash, disrupt water flows, and our urban gutters will inevitably overfill and spill out their content. That's all for my part, thank you. My name is Di Qingyi, metric number 279778, and I'm going to talk about the three impacts of flood. First of all, it will cause political turmoil. In fact, Malaysia government has been criticised for its tardy response in delivering aid, food, and other basic essentials. Weak response to relief activity during flood caused public dissatisfaction and loss of trust in government authorities. Next, it hampered the economic development and growth. The high expenses on recovery have an impact issue on government development operation. Based on the estimation of damages to households from the recent flood in 2022, the government has spent at least 20 billion to cover the loss. Last but not least, the flood has caused a social impact, infrastructure disruption. When communication linkage and infrastructure like highways and bridges are affected, people are forced to be away from their house, disrupting their regular life. The flood happened in December 2021 has caused around 2.6 billion in property damage. Good afternoon, madam. And now uh, we are have an interview for uh, environmental economics assignment. Uh. Yeah. So this interview session is uh, want to know more about the opinions from the people that already go into the workforce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, the first question that I want to ask, madam, is uh, what you think about the reason of floods is happening now currently mm. yeah, in the whole Malaysia. Okay, number one is the uh, climate change lah. Okay. Okay, so uh, more and more, I mean the volume of rain has increased lah. 
okay, and uh, the weather has been um, changing as well, not like uh, before, okay, we don't know when, when is the drought season, when is the rainy season, okay, and then when it's raining, the amount of water is uh, a lot, okay, oh. and then the flood, uh, most of the uh, drainage system has been um, disturbed, oh. where oh. the, some of the, uh, the river has become shallow, Okay, and some of them, they diverted the uh, river flow, okay, mm -hmm. and they, a lot of rubbish mm, in okay. the river as well. Oh, okay, yeah. alright. Uh, the second question is, uh, what do Madden think that the impact that will bring by floods, no matter in society or even the country, yeah? Uh, number one, the flood uh, damage, yeah. Mm -hmm. Damage to the property. Property. Okay, when damage to the property, then that will affect everybody financially. Not only the victims, mm. but also the surrounding people and mm. also the government. So the government will have to fork out a lot of money to have to, you know, come up with a lot of money to help them uh, give uh, donation lah. Okay, mm. so like. Not, it's not cheap, yeah, 1,000 per family. If, if we have about uh, 1,000 family in one uh, district, then uh, just imagine if we have like uh, the Kelantan, the Tengganu, Johor, and you know that uh, in uh, Shah Alam last year was very, very bad, right? Mm, yeah. Okay, it will also affect people emotionally, mm. okay, stress, okay, and then disappointed okay and then uh, stress lah huh? mm -hmm. uh, you you have to clean up the house I myself have yeah. experienced flat twice yeah oh. so I know the the tiredness all the burdens all the emotional uh, stress and physical stress of mm -hmm. having this uh, flat yeah mm -hmm. and then um, tu lah Mm. Oh, okay. That's a lot, lah. Mm. Okay. Uh, like the things, uh. Okay. Uh, thank you, Madam. And also, the second sessions are uh, uh. will be three questions, uh. Uh. So this one is only ask about the your willingness to pay on something. Yeah. So, uh, how much the amount that you willing to pay to purchase the like insurance to protect your assets or maybe your belonging? Okay. Yeah. Uh, it depends on the houses lah. Eh? I mean the content lah. Mm. Uh, maybe about uh, for yearly yeah, mm. about uh, two hundred. Yeah, if uh the government wants to like increase the utility bill, like the bill of the water ah, maybe mm. the electricity, all those things, and then uh, in Madam's opinions, uh, what is the percentage that might be? acceptable by a uh, household like that. Maybe one to three percent or four to six percent. Mm -hmm. One to three percent. One to three percent. Okay, alright. There are three suggestions from us in order to best prevent the flood from happening again. First, afforestation. The authority can plant more trees in area where there was no previous tree cover to prevent flooding again, since the tree help to keep the soil in place and their roots soak up the rain. Plant vegetation is one of the ways to retain extra water. Second, create more sugars. A regular checkup must be done to make sure they are functioning well. The sugar should always free from pollutants, and it is where the water flows. Third, introduce the flood warning system, which include making forecasts about the river water level and spread the messages to the community. By doing so, people can have more time to respond, potentially saving lives and reduce the loss of their assets. Advanced warning and pre-planning can significantly reduce the impact from flooding. That's all for me. Thank you.